It's time to play Family Feud's College Tournament. Let's meet our colleges. Harvard University, UCLA, the University of Texas at Austin, Caltech, playing today the Buckeyes from the Ohio State University. Against their rivals, the Wolverines from the University of Michigan. The winner of today's show will face off against the University of Southern California. One of these college teams could win up to $120,000. And now, here's your host, Professor John O'Hara. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, the colors, the colors. Welcome to Family Feud's first annual college tournament. Honor, tradition, and bragging rights, and they start right here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's meet our two college teams right now from Ohio State University. Hello, Katie, how are you, my dear? Nice to have you here. Introduce me to your team, Katie. Well, this is my lovely team. This is Meredith, Will, Laura, and Rachel. Nice to have you here. As I said, University of Michigan, the Wolverines are here. Good to have you all here as well. Introduce me to your gang. Well, first up, uh, we have Byron. Next to him are Jeff and Dele. And holding down the anchor is Marissa. Great to have you here. You have, to your credit, alumni like Michael Phelps, swimmer, That's and also right. Tom Brady, medals. the quarterback. Great to have you here. Both teams are going against each other. The winner goes on in the tournament. The loser, sadly, goes home. Good luck to both teams. You ready to play the feud? Yeah. All right. Yeah. First face off, I need Franklin and Katie. Join me. Here we go. Here we go. Yes, indeed. You know the way we play the game. We surveyed 100 people. Top eight, or eight answers are there on the board. Try to get the most popular answer. Name a university famous for its great football teams. Katie? The Ohio State University. All right, you say Ohio State. Number three, not number one, Franklin. I'm going to have to go with the University of Michigan. See you how the Wolverines stack up. Show me University of Michigan. Number four. Now you control pass and play. They're going to play. All right, Franklin. You didn't think we'd be so self-serving as to put your teams up there first? No, not on our survey. All right, Meredith, how are you? How good to have you here. How about you? A university famous for its great football teams. I'm going to say USC. USC. Let's see how they are. Show me USC. Number two. Number two. Will, how are you? Great. How are you? Yeah, great. I hear it in your voice. <laughs> university famous for its great football teams. We're going to go with uh, University of Texas. University of nice. Texas. Good All right. Show me your team. No, not on the survey. Good team. Hello, Laura. How are you? Good to have you here. University that's famous for its great football teams. I'm going to go with UCLA. UCLA. All right, you got one strike. Let's see how this does. UCLA. No. I'm very surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if that was number one. It's not even on our survey. Rachel, you got two strikes now. The third strike means the Wolverines have a chance to steal. I'm going to say University of Florida. University yes. of Florida. Show me University of Florida. No, third strike. Well, Michigan has a chance right now. They walk away with that. All right. It's like oh, we're going to have to... Uh, I know this is going to hurt you to even say another I team. Know. You've already tried the Wolverines, <laughs> and they were number four up there. Well, right? I'm going to go with my team here and say the University of Notre Dame. Notre Woo! Dame. Good answer. Good answer. If Notre Dame is there, you just stole the points early on. Show me Notre Dame. There it is. Four other teams up there. Let's reveal them right now. Number five, please. Penn State. How about that? All right. Number six. Alabama. For sure. Number seven. Oklahoma. And final team. Number eight. 
You. Okay, there you have it. First survey done. I need Byron and Meredith. Please join me. Here we go. As we continue in our tournament, we surveyed 100 people. Top seven answers are on the board. Name something women buy that might be fake. Meredith. Breasts. Yeah! And we got that out of the way early. Show me breasts. Number two, not number one. Byron. Hair. Hair. They have fake hair. Ah, no, you control narrative. They're going to play. They're going to play, all right. Will. Yes. You must know a lot about women. Yes. <laughs> what is real and what is mythical, my friend? Jewelry. Jewelry. Fake jewelry. Show me. Jewelry. Bling. The bling. All right. All right, Laura. How are you, my dear? Something that women buy that might be fake? I'm going to go with purses. Purses. Good answer. Some knock-off purses. Aha. Uh -huh. It is indeed. Hello, Rachel. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Something that women buy that might be fake? I'm going to say nails. Nails. <laughs> Show me those wonderful press-on nails. Yeah. Okay. Katie, back to you now. Something that women buy that might be fake. I'm going to say eyelashes. Eyelashes. Yeah. Show me eyelashes. Hmm. Meredith, to you, no strikes. Teeth. Teeth. <laughs> yeah. Look into that camera and show us. There we go. All right. If teeth are there, you've swept the board. Show me teeth. No, nope, not there. Not there. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, once again, our expert on women. How about shoes? Shoes. Hey, Show me shoes. Nope. Up there. All right. All right, Laura. Coasting along for quite a while there. Now you're down to two strikes. You got to get this. Okay. I'm going to go with fur. Oh! Fur. Yeah. Certainly appropriate in this day. Show me fake fur to sweep the board. You got it. Points go all the way over to the Buckeyes. There are 97 points for them. Wolverines of Michigan with 21. And when we come back, more of Family Feud's first annual college tournament when we return. The Family Feud college tournament continues. It stacks up like this. The Buckeyes of Ohio State have 97 points. Wolverines of Michigan. Their natural sworn enemies have 21. We have another face-off right now. I need Jeff and Will. Join me, please. Here we go. Here we go. You can feel that tension between the two of them. As you know, point values are now doubled. We surveyed 100 people. Top six answers are there on the board. Name an animal whose home is on the range. You got that first, Jeff? Buffalo. Buffalo. Show me the buffalo. Number one. Pass the play. We're no They're going to play. We'll head back. All right. Hi. How are you, my dear? <laughs> Something an animal, uh, name an animal whose home is on the range. Badger. A badger. <laughs> Show me a badger. No. Oh, no. All right. All right. Hello, Marissa. How, How are, are you? you? Nice good. to have you, you here. An animal whose home is on the range. I'd say deer. Deer. Yeah. All right. Show me deer. Franklin. Yes, sir. An animal whose home is on the range. Well, let's try the prairie dog. Prairie dog. Yeah. Show me a prairie dog. Yeah. It was the most obscure answer, but on there nonetheless. I'll take it. That's all right. Byron, now to you. An animal whose home is on the range. Let's go with horse. A horse. Yeah, give me an answer. Show me a horse. Yeah. Jeff, my friend. 
Um, antelope? The antelope. <laughs> Might as well complete the song, shall we? Show me the antelope. It's there. Right. Delay. We're coming back to you, and now you have a chance to sweep the board. Moose. A moose? Yes. A moose. All right, only one strike, no penalty here. Show me a moose. No, nope, not there. Larissa, now to you. You've got two strikes, so you've got to give me a correct answer, or they could steal. Look at them over there. About sheep. Sheep. Show me sheep. Not there. Ohio State, cattle. 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 Ohio State with a chance. Cattle. The Buckeyes have a chance to steal here. All the points up there. Name an animal whose home is on the range. Katie. Okay, after we talked it over, we think cow. 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 E cow. Eats the grass. Eats the grass. All right, if it's there, we've stolen the points. Show me a cow. We got it. And look at where the points stand right now. The Buckeyes, only 15 points away from victory. They've got 285. Michigan with 21. But you know, no lead is safe here on Family Feuds College Tournament. The big face-off after this. <laughs> Welcome back to Family Feuds' first annual college tournament. Well, you can pick your favorites here. But the Buckeyes are in the lead with 285 points right now. So close to 300 points. But the Wolverines in Michigan still have something to say about it because we have our next face-off. I need delay, and Laura, please join me. Let's go. Here we go. Yes, we shake hands here. All right, hands where I can see them. Thank you. Point values are now triple. We surveyed 100 people. Top four answers are on the board. Name something you see at a shopping mall during the... Huh? Scarves. Scarves. Show me scarves. Not there. All right. She punched in early delay. I'm going to read the entire question for you. Name something you see at a shopping mall during the Christmas holidays. Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Show me Santa. Ah, number one. Pass the play. We're going to play. We're going to play. All right. Head back. Okay. All right. Marissa, something you see in the shopping mall during the Christmas holidays. A Christmas tree. Christmas tree. Show me a Christmas tree. All right. Now, two answers remain, and you're back in the game. Franklin, something you see at a shopping mall during the Christmas holidays? Wrapped presents. Wrapped presents. All right. Show me wrapped presents. Not there. Not there. Byron? Go, Byron. Only one strike. Two answers remain. Same question to you. How about a lot of people? People. All right. Show me people. Good answer, but not there on the survey. All right, Jeff. Something you see at a shopping mall during the Christmas holidays, you gotta give me the right answer. How about elves? Elves, he says. <laughs> Running all over the place. It's got to be there, or the Ohio State University Buckeyes will have a chance to steal and win. Show me elves. <laughs> no, coming over. Here they go. Toys, yeah. toys, toys. Let's toys. go for toys. toys. Okay. All right, Katie, your team was screaming out one answer. It's your choice to go with it or come up with something they've on your been, own. They've been strong so far. I'm going to continue and go with them and say toys. All right. If, Good answer. If it's there, you steal and you win the game and you're going to fast money. If not, we're going to sudden death because they will not have reached 300. Here we go. Show me toys. <laughs> no! Well. Let's reveal the remaining answers. Two are there. Number three. Sales. Number four. Bell ringer. <laughs> okay, all right. Nobody reached 300 points. Time for sudden death. I need Marissa and Rachel. Join me. Here we go. All right. Oh, just like a college football game, it's all coming down to this. Whoever gets this answer wins the game for this survey. We want the top answer only. We surveyed 100 people. Name a way people get rich quickly. Rachel? Um, the lottery. Lottery. Yes. Show me the lottery. Right you got it. You got it. Oh. You stayed in it. You brought yourself back in, Franklin. Sorry, sorry, Brian. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, guys. All right, two people, fast money. All right, we come back. I got Rachel. And I got Meredith. 
It's their first shot of $20,000. See if they can add it to the jackpot that stands at 20 right now. We might have a $40,000 jackpot. They will. <laughs> Welcome back to the feud. It's our first annual college tournament where the Buckeyes of Ohio State won the game. They're moving on in the tournament. All right, we're going to play Fast Money the same way that we always do. You and your partner get 200 points or more. We take $20,000, put it into the jackpot, which stands at $40,000 right now. Whoever gets it at the end of the tournament, that family wins all of the money. Sounds Woo! pretty good, all right? Yes. All right, well, you've chosen Meredith as your partner. She's off stage right now and cannot see or hear your answers. I'll ask you five questions in 20 seconds. Give me the most popular answer you can. And if you can't think of something to say, say pass, and we'll come back to it okay. if we have time. All right? Good. And if you and Meredith together, get 200 points, $20,000 into the jackpot. 20 seconds on the clock, please. There it is. And the clock will start after I read this first question. Good luck. Besides a toothbrush, name something people use to clean their teeth. Floss. Name the age when a girl starts wearing lipstick. 14. Name a kind of station. Gas station. Tell me a word that rhymes with dork. Um, cork. Name something a baseball player might be holding during a game. A bat. Okay, good. All right. Great job. Not too difficult. Let's see how your answers stacked up against the board, though. Besides a toothbrush, what do people use to clean their teeth? You said... Floss, survey said. There you go. Not a bad beginning. Very good. The age when a girl starts wearing lipstick. You said. 14, survey said. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. A kind of station, you said. A gas station, survey said. Yes, very good. How about a word that rhymes with dork? You said. As in pop the cork, survey said. Yeah, all right. Name something a baseball player might be holding during a game. You said? Holding a bat, survey said. There you go! Very good, clear the board. All right, Meredith, let's get you right over there. All right, very good, all right. You want good news or bad news? Good. <laughs> All right. Good news is great news. She got you 141 points. There is no bad news. Yes, Rachel. 59 away from another $20,000 in the pot. To do that, I'm going to ask you five questions, the same questions. Don't duplicate any of the answers, and if you do, you hear the sound. And then I'll say try again, and you give me another answer, okay? Okay. All right. Reminding everybody, please, of Rachel's answers there. All right. 25 seconds goes on to the clock. There it is. The ding. Clock will start after I read this first question. Good luck. Besides a toothbrush, name something people use to clean their teeth. Toothpaste. Name the age when a girl starts wearing lipstick. 14. Uh -huh. Try again. Uh, 18. Name a kind of station. Gas station. Uh -huh. Try again. Um, pass. Tell me a word that rhymes with dork. Stork. Name something a baseball player might be holding during a game. A mitt. Name a kind of station. Um, radio station. Well, that got some cheers. Feeling pretty confident? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what I like to hear. Yeah, because why not? <laughs> Here we go. Besides a toothbrush, name something people use to clean their teeth. You said? <laughs> Toothpaste survey said. <laughs> Floss on the other side was number one. Name the age when a girl starts wearing lipstick. You said? <laughs> Nearly a century later. 18. <laughs> survey said. No, no, no. Number one answer was 13. Name a kind of station, you said. A radio station. Survey said. There you go, you got it, you got it. Number one answer was radio station. Rhyming with dork, not stork, but fork. Number one. And a baseball player holds up bat during the game. They have that as well, and our jackpot now sits at a right total of $40,000. We're going to be giving some good money away to these kids, and God knows the way college is, they could use it right now. They're going to face USC. One of them is going to have a chance to add some more money to the jackpot. So we'll see you tomorrow on Family Feuds, College Tournament. I'm John O'Hooley saying thanks for joining us.